It's now time for Remember When with Uncle John. John Guess, Washita County's resident storyteller and local historian. Sit back now and enjoy a walk down memory lane as John recalls the days of yesteryear in his own unique way. You never know, some of it might even be true. So here's Uncle John, along with his trusty sidekick, Kelly Blair. Back on Remember When with Uncle John. Well, we did it. We survived yet another Monday rolling along on a Tuesday. And John, you said you got a good friend that you wanted to say happy, happy birthday to today. Well, you know, a little over 50 years ago, I transferred from Chittister School uh, in the sixth grade up to Prescott. Prescott Middle School. Yep. And, uh, you know, the the whole world changed, you know, when you go from, you know, about seven or eight in your class, you know, to 30, mm-hmm. you know. And uh, and you weren't born and raised there. You didn't you know anybody. you weren't born and raised there, and you didn't know anybody. And, you know, the structure's different. Everything's different. When you went to lunch, they lined you up on the wall, you know, going into the cafeteria. I was in the sixth grade, and then the middle school consisted of the fifth and sixth, the seventh and eighth. Gotcha. Fifth and sixth was in one building, seven and eighth was in the other. Okay. And uh, they lined you up on the wall there, you know, uh, uh, and then across the hall from you on the other wall was the fifth grade. I was in the sixth grade, and there was the fifth grade. Right. And there was just a cute little old girl that I just immediately paid attention to. And I had no idea at the time that we would be, we would remain friends for fifty years, and the day's her birthday, Mary Ann Cottingham Hughes. Oh, there you go. And uh, she's from Prescott, lives in Rogers, Arkansas now. Uh, moved to California after she graduated, and got married out there. And uh, her husband passed away, and she had a little girl and didn't want to raise her and california and moved back to she had she worked at the post office in california transferred to the rogers post office and uh oh close to 30 years ago now and uh uh moved to rogers arkansas her her mother and dad uh her mother still lived in prescott at the time and her dad lived in arkadelphia and uh we've just remained friends ever since uh she has since uh retired like i did retired from the post office she's divorced and uh uh, we've just been we've just been extremely close friends uh, all these years uh we've always kind of had each other's shoulder to cry on when things didn't go right when the world seemed like it was coming to an end you know uh during denise's illness she called oh at least every other day you know to check on us and and see how things were and and uh, with words of encouragement and uh, just a, a, a extremely loyal wonderful friend uh, i don't know you know there's never been we've never been anything but real good friends and it's 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 good to have somebody we don't ever see each other i hadn't seen her now in a couple of years but uh, you know, we we talk semi regular. We text a lot. Sure. But uh, great thing about social media is being able to keep up those long distance relationships a little easier. Absolutely. Uh, she catches up to me today. She's sixty two today, and uh, I just wanted to throw out a big happy birthday to her. There, you know. Uh, it's funny the things you remember. Uh, I can still remember her childhood phone number, eight eight seven two zero six two. There you go. You know and. Uh, uh wasn't too long ago i uh i was going through some of my mama's things and i kept uh my mama kept everything and i kept mama kept the phone bills you know and uh i i i had the phone bills from the month my daddy died in uh july of 76 wow and there was like oh 10 or 12 calls you know to her to her home you there know there you go it, late at night, you know, somebody to talk to, uh, somebody to uh, cry on her shoulder, you know. But she's been a good friend, a wonderful friend now for well over 50 years. 
and I just wanted to wish Mary a happy birthday. Yep, absolutely. Hey, you got to keep your old friends uh, and and uh, while you make new ones and everything because, you know, the new ones are silver, but the old ones are like gold. Absolutely. All right, that's going to wrap up Remember When with Uncle John for today. Do want to thank ProMed Ambulance Service for being one of our wonderful sponsors. Give them a call, 1-800-634-0436. Also, Sherwin-Williams House Paint right there at 315 Jefferson Street. Give Greg Bradshaw and his great staff a call at 8 Three six eight one two five, and our good friend JJ Lindsay down at the Shoppers Guide. If you need some printing, some stationery, whatever you need, give JJ a call and he'll hook you up. And don't forget to find us our uh, find our podcast, folks. If you miss one of our episodes first thing in the morning, you can find us anywhere they do podcast, including Google Podcast, iHeart Radio, Apple Podcast, Spotify, YouTube, and even find us on Facebook. I guess we'll see you tomorrow, John. Happy birthday, Mary! See you tomorrow. You've been listening to Remember When with Uncle John on Y ninety five. This broadcast can be heard each weekday morning at 645 on South Arkansas's favorite station, Y95.